Welcome back everyone. Now this week I want to share three drills that you guys can practice to help eliminate your trail arm from extending too early in the downswing. And I know that I've mentioned the trail arm in a few of my past videos, so if you haven't already, you can check those out. But at least this week, the drills that I'll be sharing with you guys may be a little bit different and maybe give you some insight as to what may be holding you back. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe to see more golf related content in the future. So whenever I see a player extend out their trail arm in the downswing, there's something that stalls. And primarily what I get people to focus on is their trail elbow. So whenever you see a player straighten out their arm, this trail elbow stalls and stops moving towards the target. Now there's three primary movements that will dictate how well you can keep your trail arm bent um, during the downswing or even through impact. And the first movement is external rotation, which is when the uh, right wrist or right trail wrist moves outside of the trail elbow. The second movement is having enough bend or tilt towards the trail side throughout the downswing and in the follow through. And the third movement is to have enough rotation in the body through impact. So if you were to combine those three movements um, in a way to where you know there's very little tilt towards my trail side, so basically my shoulders are level, um, my shoulders are not rotating through, and my right arm kind of gets more internally rotated instead of external. That is a recipe to get my right arm straight very, very early in the downswing. So we're trying to get you uh, in a position that's more opposite to that. Okay, so for this first drill, um, you're just going to need an alignment stick. I just have this uh, little short one, but a, a normal size one would do just fine. Uh, and you can use your golf club at the same time just to uh, rehearse things. But I just want you to start by just placing the alignment stick underneath uh, your trail armpit like this. Um, and you want it straight out just so that's kind of in line with your chest. Now, when you have it under your armpit like that, what it's basically forcing you to do is that it's forcing the inside of your, of your trail bicep to kind of rest against the outer part of your chest. Just so that you get the structure of the arm down first, is that when you get in your posture uh, with the alignment stick underneath your armpit, I want you to turn your entire arm just so that your bicep and the inner part of your forearm is facing in front of you, okay? And you have a fold, a slight kind of fold in the arm that way. And then the next thing, while maintaining the structure, I just want you to turn your hand, just only your hand, um, kind of towards the target. And I want you to extend the wrist or have a cup in that trail wrist. Now this is gonna represent the structure uh, of your trail arm that you're going to want to maintain for this drill. Okay, so when you grip the club, you're going to keep that right wrist kind of in a, an extended position. Okay, and when you go to take the club back and you take a, a little, just a little pitch shot, you'll notice that your lead arm will kind of gently rest against that uh, alignment stick that's underneath your trail armpit. Okay. Now, what you don't want to do is that you don't want your trail arm to kind of move away from that alignment stick, okay? When your lead arm rests against that, that stick there, the structure of your arm, you want to maintain that. So you're going to allow the rotation of the body to kind of move the club and move your arms, and you're going to maintain everything else about the structure of the arm. So even the bend in the trail arm, kind of like this. And you'll find that the only way that you can try to that you can hit the ground is if you is if you also tilt your lead shoulder down. Okay, so if you look at it from the side, right? I have that structure in my arm. I take it back. Lead arm's touching that alignment stick. Now when I come down, I'm maintaining everything about that structure. And in order for me to strike the ground, I have to have a lot more of a tilt to my trail side. Okay, so for drill number two, again, you're just going to need an alignment stick, and you don't need a club here, but you're just going to place the alignment stick through the belt loop, your first two uh, belt loops there, and you're just going to make sure that there's more of an extension on the trail side. I, I would ideally like the alignment stick to be along the waist right here, just because when you place your arm in front of you, it'd be more behind the tricep of the trail arm, okay? But again, you can still um, do this like this. Okay, and when you get into your setup position, what you want to focus on is that as you come into impact, your right elbow um, stays in front 
of that extension that's kind of along the outside of your hip, okay? Now, if you were to early extend, right, you'd, you'd probably feel as though the elbow kind of stays behind that alignment stick. But if you keep the arm bent longer, you can really keep that elbow in front of the stick as you come down. Okay, it'll also really force you to get this right elbow moving forward. Um, otherwise, the alignment stick can, can actually get past your right elbow um, before you make impact, right? If you extend out like that. So if you can just rehearse, making sure that the elbow stays in front of the hip as you rotate through, that'll also give you a really good feeling um, in order for you to keep that trail arm bent longer. And the last drill is just more of a preset drill. So it gets you set into the impact position just so you have a feel of where you need to go or end up. So what you're going to want to do first is you're just going to want to bend backwards like this. Okay, bend backwards. You're just going to want to turn towards the target. So you're facing the target and your body's really, really bent back like this. So if you see it from the front view, okay, this is what you should be looking like in this position here with your weight all on the lead side, bent back. Okay, and then from there, once you're in that position, you're just going to bend to the right side, okay? And you're just going to put your arms and, um, and club kind of behind where the ball is. Now, when you're here, you want to make sure that your trail elbow, again, is in front of your hip, okay? You don't want to back behind your hip like this, kind of on your butt there. That's not good. You want to make sure that that trail elbow is in front of your hip, okay? So when you preset yourself in this position, You'll see, you probably feel like your body's very, very rotated. Um, your body's very, very bent towards the trail side, okay? And those are all, all the things that you need in order for you to keep your trail arm bent, right? If you're very much the other way, your shoulders are very level, okay? Then it's very, very easy, or you'll, you'll probably require your, your right arm to be extended in order for you to reach the ball. So if you can get yourself in this position with more rotation, more right side bend or trail side bend, Okay, then when you make a practice swing, you can try to get yourself in that same position um, where I preset you. So give these three drills a try and let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys have any questions about how to maybe set this up um, or confused about any part of this when, when trying it out yourself, um, I'll also be willing to help you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on my Instagram at Jonathan K. Moss if you want to inquire about online lessons. I will also leave my website in the description box below as well. Other than that, I will see you guys next week.